So I've had the Alphapex DG1 Plus Dogecoin Miner for a few days now, and I can honestly say it's one badass ASIC miner. And well, it's actually the best Dogecoin miner in the world released to date. Let's actually go out to the shed and take a closer look. All right, it's finally stopped raining in Pennsylvania. It has been raining like crazy over the last two weeks. Finally can get outside and do a little video. Here is our home crypto mining shed here. Quick walk around, quick tour of it while we're out here. Got our immersion dry cooler over there. This is our intake side. This is a six by eight shed. We got our electric piping in right over there. Five 30 amp, 240 volts, about 150 amps total in the shed. Let's go ahead and head inside. Oh, quick look at the exhaust. We have two of our upper exhausts running right now. I don't usually run the lower exhaust unless it's during the winter and on like the speed of one and really just let the hot air recirculate in the winter. But warmer today, but not too bad in the 70s. Let's hop inside, take a closer look here. Lights on. So we'll go give a quick swing tour. I need to replace the filters here. I just took them out recently. I'm gonna try to talk a little bit louder. It is loud in here. It's actually coming from the DG1 Plus. We'll talk about that in a minute. So a quick swing tour. Ipolo and Jazz Miners up top. This is that Ipolo Hydro Miner. Uh, Jazz Miner, KA3, K7, a bunch of the new gold shell miners here, box miners, our, our DG1 Plus, 14 giga hash, sitting right here, K10, and our SC Lite, and then a handful of GPU mining rigs. I do have a few of these off right now. This one is full of 3070s, is on currently. Dude, why are you making so much noise over here? Quiet down a little bit. Uh, let me swing around the back side of the shed. As we talked about, we got the exhaust on. Ooh, it's warm back here. Our immersion tank here with two. We got an S19J Pro 100 terahash and an S19 XP in here. And the coolest part, we got the little waterfall effect there of our overflow tank with immersion. All right. So our DG1 Plus here, cranking out that hot air, uses just under 4,000 watts currently right now. Packed in here, actually got it lined up right with the exhaust here. So as that hot air pipes out, I mean, this is hot. It just gets sucked right out the back of the shed, which is really, really nice. Uh, let's walk around on this side. So it's been running great over the last several days. I've had no issues. Uh, I, ha I haven't had to power cycle it. The one thing that you can actually hear spinning up. The one thing I've noticed is the fans on the Alphapex DG1 Plus, they kind of ramp up and then come down and ramp up and come down. And I mean, I can feel 70 degree cool air, at least it feels like in here, coming straight through into this thing. None of my other A6, my bit mains, my K10, my other bit mains here have really done that. So I want to reach out to the Alphapex team. I want to check to see if there's a firmware update. I just don't know why the fans keep up and ramping up and down. You'll hear it a few times while I'm in here. But as I said before, this is the 14 giga hash model. You guys could probably see it right there. Uh, and it is power hungry, just under 4,000 watts. You can see it uses two C19 to C20 cables there. So, as I said, it's been running great. I haven't had to power cycle at all. It's been crushing it right now, script mining. But I actually had an idea of something to do with the DG1 Plus. So let's jump inside and I can show you a little more. So I had a thought. Bitcoin mining right now with my Bitcoin miners has not been the most profitable over the last few weeks since the halving. And well, my altcoin miners have actually been my most profitable ASIC miners in my farm. So what if we used our altcoin miners to get paid out and stack more Bitcoin? All right, our Alphapex DG1 Plus Dogecoin miner. It's been up and running for one day, two hours, 42 minutes, and 32 seconds. And it's been great. As I said before, I haven't had to reboot it or adjust anything. Now, the nice thing is about the average total hash rate is it's just over 
the advertised 14 giga hash at 14.1, which is great. You always struggle when you have those miners that just aren't meeting the advertised hash rate. Well, this one absolutely is. So taking a closer look here at the Alphapex DG1 Plus, if this is something you're interested in, I actually have a direct contact out at Alphapex. I'll put their direct information directly down below. You can email them or reach out to them on Telegram. So currently right now, the Alphapex DG1 Plus, you can see is advertised on their website using right about 3,950 watts. Well, this is absolutely true. We've actually tested this at the wall and that number is 100% accurate. We were actually a little bit lower, 3,910 watts at the wall, which was great does ship currently right now for a hefty price of $10,000. If this is something that you're interested in and you're looking to get into it, the nice thing is you're paid out in Doge and Litecoin. So where my thought went was I have this miner, DG1 Plus, doing awesome script mining, but what if we could earn more Bitcoin with it? So I was taking a look over here at NiceHash's compatibility program. And this is a program they have that pretty much is set up for a lot of these manufacturers to pretty much set up their miners to be compatible on the NiceHash platform. So if you're interested in reading more about this, I'll put a link directly down below. But when I came over to their mining hardware list to just check if the DG1 Plus is listed, let's select ASIC and, oh, I was actually gonna do a control F, but it looks like it's actually right here. The Alphapex DG1 Plus and also the DG1, which are both compatible. And it's actually saying on here, based off of 10 cents, the DG1 Plus currently right now, the net profit of this unit is $19.82 a day currently on NiceHash, which is insane. It's actually looking, your daily earnings are $29.30, taking out electric if you're at 10 cents, $9.48. So you're profiting about $19.82 a day. That is awesome. I am absolutely not doing that script mining right now. So that is what piqued my interest in putting my Alphapex DG1 Plus on NiceHash to earn Bitcoin. All right, so we're over on NiceHash's website. I'm logged into my account and we're going to add a miner and we're gonna go down to script, which is the first one on the list. We're gonna name this DG1 Plus and then an underscore and I always do the IP address just to make it easy to reference. So on NiceHash, they give you your stratum URL as well as the SSL stratum URL, your username information and the password. So let's go ahead and do this in real time. We'll go over to our miner. We're gonna remove what's in there currently and we're going to select our stratum URL. We're going to put in our username copy, which is actually with the way that NiceHash works. It's your NiceHash wallet address dot your worker name. And we're going to do an X and then we can actually add in a second one here, which is the SSL. And we'll grab our username again, and we'll put in X. Here we go, we can do this, perfect. And let's hit save, and let's give this a few minutes and see how we do. What's up guys, sorry to interrupt your video, but wanna keep you in the know. So are you new at mining, or you're just looking to get step into it? You're not sure what hardware you wanna buy, you're not sure what build you wanna do, need some help? Maybe you're building your first mining rig and you literally need help step-by-step -step installing Hive OS. Maybe you're so far away from mining, but you're looking at it and you just need somebody to bounce some ideas off of. Well, I offer one-on-one -on -one calls with the community and I've done boatloads, some really cool ones. I've helped people set up ASIC miners in the Dominican Republic. I've helped someone troubleshoot their very first GPU mining rig. I've chatted with a guy looking to open up a farm and just wanted a sounding board. I've helped someone else build and set up and configure their brand new Caspa miners. Well, I'm here to help and I'd love to work with you. If you guys need one-on-one -on -one help, I offer it and I love doing it. So there's a link directly down below to thehobbyistminer.io. Go over there and schedule some time with me. All right, back to the video. All right, it has been four hours, 52 minutes and 36 seconds. And we have been up and mining on NiceHash. How do you think we've done? Do you think we're more profitable than we thought? Less profitable? Where do you think it's at? So if we jump over to mine the ASIC, you will not find the DG1 Plus on here yet. I imagine we'll see it any day now, but with being such a new miner, it is not listed quite yet. So if we go over to what to mine, 
and we put in these calculations 14 giga hash um we have 3950 watts and our electrical cost we based everything in our experiment today on 10 cents we hit calculate it is telling us that we are making revenue $24.84 and profit $15.36 so keep that in mind that $24 mark $24.84 so let's take a closer look here at exactly everything going on so if we look once again over at nice hashes compatibility program that they do have up and running and we mind we kind of scroll down to mining hardware and let's go to asics and let, here's the dg1 plus so on here our daily earnings 28 dollars 95 so what to mine was telling us 24. So right away, NiceHash is actually providing an estimate higher, significantly higher on their platform of $28.95. So let's go ahead and take a look at NiceHash and see how we've done. So we're over on my NiceHash dashboard. Here is our DG1 Plus. And taking a look, we're at $28.66 on NiceHash estimated over the last four hours of mining. So $28.66. Let's take a look at our estimator, $28.95, so under 10 cent difference. When we go back over to what to mine, if we were mining right to a Dogecoin only pool that flipped everything, it would be that $24 mark as to what we talked about there, $24.84. So we're making several dollars more by just being on nice hash, which is absolutely fantastic. And I'm really glad I ran this experiment. It's probably something I'm gonna do more of. All right, guys, that is going to wrap things up for today's video. I'm so glad that I did this experiment and it allowed me to really see the value of mining this directly to a native pool, earning Doge and Litecoin and seeing what that profitability was or going ahead and swapping to nice hash and getting paid out in Bitcoin quite a few dollars a day. In your thoughts, what do you think? Is it worth it to mine to NiceHash for several dollars more a day? Let me know your thoughts directly down below. Now, if you guys are interested in more Alphapex DG1 Plus content, I have my full unboxing, review, what's at the wall, and all the nitty gritty up here directly for you. Down below here is a full video on NiceHash tips and tricks to help elevate your game utilizing NiceHash. So go over and check out both the videos here on the side and I'll see you guys next time. Take care.